In the year 2017, an alien life form descended from space and seized control of the planet. It didn't take an army of them, it only took one. Some say the thing is God, but it doesn't really look like God. In its media campaign, it appears as a claymation character named Scud Nelson with a foam rubber face and a NASCAR hat. Since Scud has come to Earth, people have been deteriorating and getting smaller and thin like cotton candy. Moms who used to down fifths of whiskey now get drunk on a thimbleful and their bodies are like wispy veils with shrimp eyes. They sit in ladies' high-heeled shoes or makeshift folding chairs made out of matchbooks. And if you pick them up, they only weigh a few ounces. There was this tremendous overkill of signs. Signs everywhere, even on stretches of desert no one ever passed through. And they had a picture of Scud on it and his message. country fearfully discussing the situation and looking at one of these huge signs when the picture of Scud looks back at us and leaps off. Scud is a wobbly, pale creature who comes at us across the fields. He looks like a shaky old man ambling along but he is really traveling at these tremendous speeds leaving awake in the corn. And pretty soon he's on us. He starts talking to us and telling us he loves people. But then he senses we're anti-scud extremists and he turns us into vegetables. He does this simply by coming close to us and exposing us to his powerful vegetogenic aura. I look at Peter and all of a sudden he's a piece of corn and then scud moves and he changes Peter into lettuce and everything around is changing into food. Peter is a bag of potato chips and I'm a dandelion. in the cities in the distance because Scud made the earth flat. There was nothing underneath. Engineers had drilled holes into the earth, but when they looked down, they found they were just looking into the inside of their own brains. Scud nuked Rio and all the networks were giving it round-the-clock hysteria coverage. There was a live CNN feed showing Scud's fortress in the southwest with vents and ovens and red-lipped mouths driven by the power of Scud's alien mind. A big castle door opened and five missiles appeared, lit by floodlights and balanced on the palm of a girl. She inserted the rockets into a swiveling high-tech keypad which she slung back into position. It was clear now the earth would be destroyed and they passed out emergency information packets to all the crew members. The packets contained pre-moistened navy towelettes and a technical book on how to travel to other galaxies. The book was not authoritative. It was a speculative attempt written in 1975 by a secret government commission just in case it was absolutely necessary to get the president to another planet. I looked 
over at the girl and she smiled at me. Her uniform was shrinking and you could see the baby fat on her stomach and her belly button and her tattoo. Then we jettisoned out of the larger ship in an escape pod And for a moment it seemed like we had capsized But we were okay, just upside down, skimming over the surface of the sea I looked out the porthole window and I saw Scud's cigar-shaped craft Glinting like a mirror in the sun as it banked over the backs of silently feeding whales